Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see a one more example for a pushdown automator. So in the previous session, we have seen what is a pushdown automator and we have seen one example how we can construct the pushdown automator for the given language. And now we'll see the pushdown automator for another language. So now let us consider the language L is equal to so A power N and B power M and C power N where m greater than or equal to 1 and m greater than or equal to 1. So this is the language we need to construct the PDA. First let us write the language with all the strings, acceptable strings. So L is equal to, so if n and m are 1, it will be a, b and c. Right? And if n is equal to 2 and m is equal to 1, a, a, b, C, C. So this is uh, M, N is equal to 1. Here M is equal to 1 and N is equal to 2. Now we will go with uh, M is equal to 2 and N is equal to 2. So then we can see A, A, B, B, C, C. And again M is equal to 2, N is equal to 3. So A, 3 A's followed by 2 B's followed by 3 C's and so on. So this is the strings, acceptable strings for the given language. Now we have to construct the PDA. So before constructing the PDA, let us an analyze this one. So you can see A followed by B followed by C and number of A's, number of A's are equal to number of C's, number of A's are equal to number of C's. So A followed by B followed by C. So whenever you got A, whenever you got A, just we will push the A. We will apply the push operation. Whenever we got the B, just remains unchanged. And whenever you got the C, use the pop operation because the number of A's are equal to number of C's. So the number of A's we have pushed into the stack. The number of C's will be popping the number of A's. Right? So here push A and pop A. So whenever the C's occur, we have to pop A from the stack. Now we'll start writing the transition functions and then we'll write the seven tuple. Right? Now delta of delta of Q naught, the initial state, let it be the initial state Q naught with the input for we will take the input this one so a a b c c so this is the input tape this is the input tape now we have to consider a so q naught on a what's the initial stack so in the previous session we have discussed the initial stack will be z naught right so z naught gives Q naught, it will remain in the same state. And what we have to do? Whenever the input is A, we have to apply the push operation. So remove the Z naught out and push A Z naught. We have to push A Z naught. So A becomes here. So what happens here? The second term is the stack symbols. Whatever the input available in the stack that we have to write here. So the input is A Z naught. I mean the stack consists of a z dot the string a z dot. Now q naught go to the second one upon a. Now what is the top of the stack? Now the top of the stack is this one a. So a is equal to it remains in the same state and what have, what we have to do if the input is a again we need to push. So just remove this one a outside remove a outside and just add a and push this one right so what happens here the output i mean the stack so bottom it will be z naught a and a you can observe here and this is the top this is the top now now so what what is the result here 
so whatever the stack elements available that will be the result so a a z not a a z not next see is of so what here what we are pushing just a a so uh, let it be now the state is q not now the input is b q not on b q not on b upon what is the top of the stack it's a a so what we have seen here see whenever the input is b so this is the input right but whenever the input is b it remains unchanged so sorry this is a a a we are just pushing a a right so we need to write here what whatever we are pushing that should be written here itself right? so q not it changes its state because the input is different b q1 and it remains unchanged so it will be a a itself okay it remains in unchanged and now delta of q1 what is the now input c input is c now q1 c what is the top of the stack here so there is that is unchanged right so z not a and a so this is the top now the top of the stack is a so whenever we got the c as input we need to pop so q1 with c so q2 and h long so automatically the element will be popped the element will be popped and next the input is changed to here last one so delta q2 on c so here the a has been removed from the stack so the now the stack is having again sorry this is the top the top of the stack is a so q comma c comma a again what we have to do we have to pop because the input is c now so q2 and epsilon so automatically the next a will also be pop now what happens the result of the stack will be only z not now so q2 on there is no other input here so we can consider it as a epsilon the last element the last input string is epsilon so q2 with epsilon and top of the stack is z not here right so z not it will give q3 comma epsilon so here it will end the process it will end the process right okay so we, this is the most important so whenever the input symbol is a we are just applying the push operation whenever the input symbol is b we are just keeping it as the same there is there is no change and whenever the input is c we are just applying the pop operation and now we have to represent the pda in a seven tuple seven tuple so that is a q sigma gamma delta function q not z not f so this is a seven tuple now here the q is the number of states what are the states q not q1 q2 and q3 so q not q1 q2 q3 so this is the states the all the states and sigma sigma is nothing but input alphabet what are the input alphabets here a b and c a b and c are the input alphabets what about the gamma gamma is a stack symbol so what are the stack symbols here z not and a just we are pushing the z not and a into the stack that's it so other than the a and z not there is no other symbol in the stack so the gamma will be a and z not and the next one is a delta so all these are the delta functions all these are the delta functions transition functions right and q not so initial state that is a, again the q not will be the initial state and top of the stack uh, top of the stack it's a z not and uh, final state final state it is a q3 q3 so this is a seven tuple number of states sigma gamma q not z not 
f and the transition functions right so hope you understood this one so this is how we have to construct the pda for given language so this is a given language so in all the all the examples we are supposed to use the stack in order to push and pop the input string and finally we need to balance right so hope you understood this one if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much